สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone, nice to see you all again. For the past two years, we haven't had a chance to travel, perhaps as much as we would have wanted. And I believe that you have seen millions of beautiful photos of Asia and the Kingdom of Thailand. So, assumably, it would be more interesting to keep you updated on what's on around here. Let's start with number one, the night sky. Definitely, everybody knows about these magical northern lights. Well, do you know that we also have these in southeastern Asia now? But don't panic just yet. These are the night scenes in some of the southeastern Asia beaches, and they're not the northern lights, of course, but they are from the fishing boats. According to an article on NASA's Earth Observatory site, fishermen from South America, Norton, and southeastern Asia light up the ocean with powerful lamps that attract, you know, the plankton that the squid feed on. Then it is easier for fishermen to catch. I wish I could convince them to, you know, have the dimmer on the boat to reduce the light pollution. Mm, but um, I'm more into plan this right away. Okay, number two, sun and moon. Just last month, early February, many countries in Asia celebrated the Lunar New Year. And when I was young, there was no such decoration in Thailand, but um, now it seems to be everywhere. I guess it has turned into a commercial event now, though I was so looking forward to enjoying the mooncake. And these are the countries that celebrate Lunar New Year and have many significant events that relate to the moon phases. For instance, Buddhist religious events, the Thai New Year, and etc. And these are the countries that celebrate the summer solstice and you know winter solstice, midsummer, which means that they are more related to the sun. Very interesting, isn't it? But um, these are completely my own assumptions. If you know any of you know, kindly share with me, and thank you very much in advance. Let's move to number three. Popular light fitting. Yes, there are LED rechargeable lanterns and surprisingly, it seemed to be the most popular light fitting here during COVID-19 because we could not travel to other countries or even other provinces sometimes. Camping was and is in trend and people seek nature even more than ever. Hear the story. My friends, they set up a tent in their room. Yes, not, not in the garden, but in the room switch off the light and turn on this, you know, pretty lantern just to pretend that they were in the jungle. Very sweet. So in this case, lighting does prove that it affects our mental health. And the more people realize how important the dark sky is, the more environmental respect will be rest. So now the camping site, which offer dark skies are getting more popular here. Okay, move to number four. Light Fest. Many countries have their own light festival, and Lai Pratong is an event where we float a ritual flower vessel and candle. The Lantern Festival that you are seeing on the left always invites many tourists to come. Now we have some regulation to control because it could cause a butch fire and could also disturb the airplane. And as we are well aware of the environmental crisis, we are proudly presenting the ice flower vessel, which you can see on the top right. So, you know, it can just melt and only a tiny amount of flowers can be collected right after the festival. It's nice, right? Right. And here is the last one, number five, Bangkok Design Week. And every January or February since 2018, Bangkok which is the capital city of Thailand, and now officially changed the name to Krum Thep Mahanakon. Yes, a little bit long. And this is not a new name for Thai, but we would like this name to be officially called from now on. You can Google it further. Anyway, the Design Week event will be held at many nodes around the city and every design field will attend the event. And Lighting Designers Thailand or LDT, this is our group, 
was invited to be a part of the event. The project is called The Wall. And every year we will choose a different area to hold the installation and the proposition has changed also every year. For instance, the most led photo was the last um, standalone theater in Thailand and we, you know, Lighting Designers Thailand has you know, spelled the magic to enhance the architectural languages and even arrange a movie program with some light shows as well just to protect the place, not to be damaged and yeah. And this year, I haven't had a chance to join, but it was a real talk of the town after two years of the postponement because of the COVID-19. The city has experienced a new wipe and it's just magical. And it was not just pretty to look at, but to experience the art of perception through all the senses. Most of them are the forgotten part of the city. So we bring back life and economy to the community. One of the important thing is how we could introduce such an event without disturbing the locals. But more than just the pretty photos, the unity of us is one of the keys. Here we are like delighting siblings and families, not just the designers, but um, also the suppliers and the contractors. And when we are family, you know, we help each other. Every year, all the lighting designers from all the different tiers will join in, you know, with laughter and tears at the event because it's such a rush time that we have to make it happen. But every year, it is such a warm gathering. And in this case, if you don't have one in your area, I could see that women in lighting could probably be a good starting point to get together and introduce such an event in your country. So thank you very much to the Will team for your contribution. And thank you very much, everyone.